Ja, das müssen wir auch los, muss, äh, das auf lautlos stellen, weil wenn du hier im Raum bist, dann hast du ja, ja eine Schilder sind eine Rückkopplung. Ja, das ja, das ist auch ich habe die richtigen Seile. Ja. Das sieht gut aus. Das sieht gut aus. Hello, my friends, and um, Happy New Year. It's already the, the 9th, but I think we still can say Happy New Year. Um, well, welcome to my page and welcome to my first live in 2020. I am very happy that you're joining me. Um, my name is Angela Bailey, and I am the owner and creative energy of um, Elfen und Helden shop is located nearby Frankfurt in Germany and uh, I am a premier retailer for Dixie Bell and also carry uh, Would You Bend moldings which is a very amazing product and uh, basically um, in the first part with this piece we're working today what uh, what we're going to do. So um, this piece here behind me uh, it really is a shelf a shelving system and when we picked it up um, it was I just had like a picture from the shelves and uh, when we picked it up firstly it was bigger than we thought it's going to be it is massive wood it was very very heavy and the place we picked it up was the third floor and it was like one of those very old uh, buildings in Germany, I don't know if you have those in America, but it's like a very old building, and this like where the rooms, the ceilings are up to three meters high, so you can imagine like going up to the third floor is like a bit more than in in normal um, apartment. Obviously, this house didn't have an elevator or something like that, so we've been carrying this thing down the stairs, which was uh, definitely something. So um, I'm first going to show you the, the piece itself so that you have an idea what we are basically working with. Um, so I'm just going to turn it around. I've got to be a bit careful because I'm just going to take something out because otherwise it probably... Uh, so it doesn't drop. I've got it on um, rolls at the moment, but still... I don't know if you just want to see what's behind me. I think this belonged to a bar or something like that. I'm not sure. But that's what it looks from the other side. And it was standing like this on the wall. And uh, then we picked it up and uh, basically realized how beautiful the thing is from the, from the back side. Um, so I've decided this thing is going to be like, um, I don't know what's it called in English, in German it's a Raumteil, it's like a, if, it, if it directly is a, a room separator, you know, something which you can have stand in the middle of the room, um, or maybe as a bar or something like that, I think that'll be great also. But today we're going to work at the back, I've got to be careful that this thing's not... today. So, turn it back. That's it. Okay, I've got it. All right. 
So, and the idea I'm having for this piece is uh, it's going to be like an industrial type. And the um, paints I'm using are Dixiebel paints and the um, appliques are going to be from Goodyear Band. And all the products you can also get in my shop. The link is um, above if you want to check that out. And we are also going to do some stenciling on the sides where I've got one of my my own stencils, which is this one, is like an industrial stencil. You can also get from me if you want to. And this time I'm not using um, a sticky stencil, I'm using um, a reusable stencil, which is uh, a little thicker and it's non-sticky. Ah, I can get to it. It is non-sticky and um, you can use it over and over again. So this is the idea and the stencil is going to go on the side and on the back we're going to have one of those or a couple of those moldings we're going to use. So um, to the colors as it's going to be a bit of an industrial type I plan to have it a bit in a well creating like a brushed metal look with little bit of rust in there and for my European friends because uh, well has got uh, a product line which is called Patina which is at the moment not available in Europe um, they are still waiting to get the permission to import it here so um, I was thinking to try to basically create a similar um, effect with the normal Dixie Bell paints and uh, Dixie Bell paints for those who don't know Dixie Bell um, they are chalk mineral paints uh, they are environmental friendly and they are so easy to use and they are so rich in color and um, they really go a long way they are pretty expensive I do understand that but um, they really go a long way you're gonna see when we when we do this this project how far they are gonna go so the first we're going to start with putting on the wood buildings and then the base coat we are starting with is going to be like a, a dark gray it's like the gravel road I'm using for this it's, it's a pretty dark well it's not too dark but a middle dark very dirty gray so guys when you Popping on, please let me know where you're watching from. I'd be happy to see that, and um, I'm very grateful that you're here watching me. And just say hi where you're watching from, and uh, maybe if you've used Dixie Bell paints before, or uh, if you need any help, just let me know. Also, if you have any questions, you can leave comments either in English or in German if you wish to. I'll get to them um, probably later. I don't know if I'm gonna do it during this live. You can see I'm, I'm again, I'm so nervous. It's, I, I haven't done many lives by now, so I'm still very, very nervous um, doing it. So uh, don't be too hard on me. <laughs> you can tell when I'm talking a lot that I'm nervous because I'm usually like calm down and quiet and things like that. So, well, okay. Um, as I said, and um, I don't know, I've got, I'm still, I had this my last um, project, I'll, uh, I had this transfer also, the steampunk transfer from Redesign with Prima. I don't know if I'm going to use that, I'm carrying it around, finding, trying to find the right project for it. So, um, what I also have when I work with the Would You Bend moldings is um, I have a heat gun, which is this beauty. This was actually it was my Christmas present. I was so happy. So, um, especially for the wood you bend moldings, um, I said I need something like that. So, I had it from Christmas, which was great. So, um, this is this one we're going to need. And um, what I already have going is I don't know if you can see that down there. Um, it is. It is um, my, ooh, oh, dropping this thing now. No, okay, there we go. It is my raclette, 
which I've got for many, many years now. And uh, unfortunately, I can't use it anymore because uh, in my old age, they diagnosed um, a milk protein allergy. So now I know why I, why I was like always felt ill all, all those years and um, they discovered it. So now I'm not allowed to eat any more cheese or stuff like that. So I thought, why not use or you get some use out of the rocklet for the um, for the woody band moldings. So I'm gonna explain you a little bit about uh, what's so amazing about those uh, moldings. If you if you look at them, they are they are hard. They are solid hard, and um, they smell like a wood. They are made out of. Um, What's it called in English? It's like uh, wood waste, basically, you know, and it's it's a special um, production they do. It's um, this pressure and stuff like that. And they're rock solid, you know, when you get them. So you can, you basically can work with them like with normal wood. You can, um, you can drill them, you can file them, you can um, saw them. You know, all those things work. But the most amazing thing about those is when you heat them up, and that's the reason I've got that heat gun, that's the reason I've got my raclette down there going. Um, um, I think my American and English friends, they use like, a, what's it called in English? A, a criddle? I don't know. Please just write it in the comments. At the end, I am German, so English is not my native uh, tongue. So um, sometimes I'm lost for words. I'm sorry about that. So. Um, if you guys can help me out, uh, that'll be great. Um, the amazing thing is when you heat them up, they are bendable. And as I have my um, criddle already going, and it's only on like um, keeping the things warm. This is the same thing. And you see how I can just bend it and do it like this. And what I basically could do you can bend it around corners and stuff like that, you know, just like that and apply it like this. And it's, when it's um, cooling down, it's going to get um, rock hard again. So this is very, very amazing. And when they're in this state, you can basically, you can cut them. Um, yeah, and you can bend them. You can bend them around um, whatever, a bottle or whatever you want to do, you know, that works really, really great. This is very amazing. And um, they also do have like trimmings. And this is like, um, can you see that? This is like a chain from a motorbike, a little smaller maybe, just like ours, I've got a bigger one on there. And so uh, you can, you know, you can also, those things, you can bend it around corners and stuff like that, which is really amazing. You can frame the things and you glue it on with normal wood glue, you know, and whatever surface you're putting it on, uh, you're always going to use uh, wood glue for it. So that's that. So I don't want to do too much. I think I'm gonna get going with you guys. This thing is really hot, even when it's only keeping warm. Um, the wood you bent moldings I'm using is going to be this one, industrial type things, and this is the number twenty eleven. They are all in my shop also. So if you're interested in things like that, um, I also got them in my shop. This is the 2011, which we're going to put on. And then we have like a um, nice, cute butterfly. Also with those industrial um, type of things in there is going uh, gonna go on there, which is the number 2000. And this little chain, you see like this, it is hard, you know, I can't, I can't bend it. It's like when it's cold, it's hard. And this is uh, the number uh, 1595, 1595, yeah, no, 1395, sorry, 1395. And then I have that watch, which I already dropped. So obviously when it's like a fine detail, like on top of here, 
it can break when it falls down so um, that can happen but uh, also show gonna show you how you can fix that it's no problem you, you can always rejoin it you know you're putting on on a piece anyway so that's um, you won't see that anymore so those are the things I'm using and I have this little package here which is the um, number 56 it's like um, like a whole um, um, sort uh, a whole set so a whole set of uh, different uh, pieces which are gonna go on there also so and you basically you can treat those things like um, like like normal wood you can you can stain it if you want to you can it's paintable uh, you can just do anything with it so um, I'm gonna get Going. So let me see. I'm gonna put those things first on the warm them up a bit so they're easier to apply. And what you do, um, even if you put it on a on a flat surface like this, you always heat them up, you know. So because the thing is <clears throat> no surface is gonna be perfectly flat. And to make sure that the, the molds or the moldings are going to have perfect contact, you heat them up anyway. So, that's what I'm going to do now. Let's just put them on here so they can get nice and hot. And um, as I'm gluing the things on, everything is going to be ready then by the time we get to it. So as I said, if you have any questions, just leave it in the comments. Um, I'll get back to you then later. And when you pop on, just um, say hello, um, where you're watching from. I'd love to hear that. So, um, yeah. Uh, can you see that probably from there? I'm gonna get my little thing here. It's probably easier then. I think we're going to start with the bottom left-hand side. Right down here, we're going to start. And there I'm going to put that the big thing. Oh, I'm first gonna pour some. It's not uh, really apple mousse, like apple. I don't know what to call it in English either. Um, it is wood glue in here, and I've got it from a friend who's um, yeah, who's like uh, carpenting, so it's like um, like an industrial wood glue. So that's what I'm using. But you can use basically, I think in England and in the UK and in the US, you've got like Gorilla Glue or something like that. I think that's about the the same. I'm not quite sure. So I'm gonna pour a little bit in here. This trick, or this, it's not really a trick, but um, I found it pretty amazing. Just like the Solid Joe from Would You Bend. I've watched her, and she's like using those, um, well, those. Um, well, she is using dog food tins and I'm using cat food tins now because um, you don't really need to throw them. The only ones who are unhappy because my cats usually don't eat food like the food which comes in those things. So they hate me at the moment. Okay, that out of the way. So let's get the nice and the thing. So what you do... closer to you. You just apply the wood glue nicely on there and then you stick it to your project. And what I've done to this um, piece before, um, the nice thing about the Dixie Bell paints is, oops, oh, careful, oh, it's small. <laughs> The nice thing about the Dixie Bell paints is that um, you can apply them uh, without uh, any preparation for your for your piece you're working with. Um, 
and it's gonna it's gonna stick really really well but uh, what you should do always should do is um, basically clean your piece and that's what I've done with this one because this lady we picked it up she was a smoker um, but I think she cleaned it before because it wasn't too bad when I cleaned it up and she had it for about 30 years this piece so um, it's pretty old and she already bought it used so I really couldn't tell you how old this piece is anyway so what I'm doing at the moment is just applying some wood glue and um, I'm just using like um, like uh, like a little chip brush nothing special for that because obviously for the glue it doesn't really matter um, so put it nicely on there and you can see it's already it's already hardening up again so I'm gonna get my heat gun now and I'm going to heat it up and then I'm going to stick it on there so nice and thick on there so there we go then heat gun I've got it on the on the middle temperature and as you can see before, we're just gonna drop that camera a little more down. That's it. So you can see what I'm doing down here. So I'm gonna make it pliable again. Maybe that is a higher temperature. You see what I'm doing? Yeah. So I'm heating it up and you can see it's already softening it up again. And now I can press it down nicely onto our <laughs> onto my piece. It's hot. It's different than when you're using a hairdryer. So it's a little Potter, obviously. And then you can stick it nicely onto the surface. And the thing is, um, turn it down a bit again. Oops. Okay. Slow it down also. That's it. Because no surface is going to be perfectly straight. So that's the reason you're heating it up. So it gets all manageable and pliable and you can push it nicely down onto your piece. So that looks good. it so the excess glue I'm just gonna wipe off with some baby wipes in a minute nicely down so that's it now to the side and the baby wipe glue is gonna dry clear anyway you can cut it off later also but um, if you go in there straight away you can clean it up a little bit so it's not so much around the edges but it's going to be painted anyway and you won't see that then so just wipe the excess off It's really quick that glue also, which is good. So first, first one on there. What do you think? Do you like that? 
as I said, it's going to be an indus industrial type piece. And um, it might be, again, like a bar or something like that. It's really a shame it was hiding. So, that's the first one. Then, we're going to have the butterfly. Where do we put the butterfly? What do you think? As I said, the butterfly is the number 2000 from um, Would You Band. And it also got like this um, industrial type of things. Oh, hi Jenny. Um, we are in Germany actually. Hi, hi USA. Welcome, welcome to my page. I'm happy you're watching. <laughs> so what time is it over there now? I think it's about uh, half, half eight, half two. Is that right? Is it half two at your place? So this is when it's um, the wood you bend moldings. Um, is um, you can move them around when they're hot, and they're gonna dry solid, um, solid hard. So you apply them with uh, normal wood glue. And um, Jenny, when you are in America, you can get, you can look for a local um, Dixie Bell paint retailer and they also carry those um, those wood you band molds so if you go to the Dixie Bell page and find your local retailer um, they also um, have those in stock and they're absolutely amazing and um, I'm also working with, uh, with uh, clay and stuff like that for um, this paper clay for um, molds from IOD or from Prima Marketing which is uh, a totally different uh, thing firstly um, they gonna need they are when they are um, freshly made you can uh, move them around also but the thing is they are very um, fragile at that uh, stage and when you push on them too hard they you ruin them so that's uh, the first thing and the second thing is when they dry they shrink and this is obviously not happening with this one i'm gonna get it a bit higher because i want to put it up in this corner here now so i get my heat gun again as i said because it is you see it's hard again so i can't move it around anymore I think, what do you think? This way? This way? No, I think this way. Or what do you think? This way? Just heat it up, push it down gently, and as soon it warms up, you don't need much heat, you can see, and um, you can stick it. The grips to the surface and I smell the thing. So just heat it up. Then you push it down nicely onto the surface. And like this, it's gonna basically squish itself like nicely onto the surface because no surface. Even if you think it's flat, it is not. You know, it's just not. So with this, you can um, make them manageable. And then you can just push it nicely down so it gets like a good adhesion on your face. That's it. There's no gaps and nothing. And now. You know, it's it's uh, when it's cold. You can see the one at the bottom here. It is, you know, it's rock hard now, and you can just do anything with it. You can stick some paint on there and whatever, and you won't um, won't uh, harm it or nothing. Nothing happening to it. So, oh, a bit 
which one are we going to do next? I think I'm going to try because I was thinking putting this um, like around this one here, this chain. So let's try that. Try that. And you can see I can move it around and I think I'm going to put it around like this. I think this one is going to break but that's no problem. So again, put some wood glue on there. product for me also. big ones also Like um, it's like uh, industrial wood glue. Nice and hot. Okay, 
blended around all those corners and edges. Down for a sec. Bend it around. Stick it on. So when you have it like this, you know, basically solid hard. It is um it is uh, hard to believe that you can really manage to put it around all those edges and stuff like that. Really an amazing product. You up there. Just it over anyway. So get the next one. So as you can see, even if it's broken, you can basically just stick it to together again. So those things, uh, they do have like um, like framings also or trims which you can put like all around obviously this thing is not a whole trim it is um, about it's a piece i think it's about 50 centimeters something like that so i'm needing needing um, a couple of those and i've heated it up on my raclette which i'm using for it and raclette is basically a swiss thing Swiss people probably know that better than anybody else. Where you can do some, you melt cheese, you put like in those dishes, uh, uh, whatever, vegetables and stuff like that. And you put cheese on top and uh, you melt it um, underneath, you know, in that, um, in that thing. You have like little pans you put that in, which is absolutely lovely. So, but as I'm not allowed to eat anything like that anymore. I'm using it now for my woody band moldings. So guys, when you pop on, just let me know where you're watching from. Um, I really appreciate you being here. And um, if you haven't done it by now, I'd be very grateful if you go and like my page and maybe recommend me to your friends and distribute this, um, this video. That'll be great. I really appreciate that. Thank you guys. So I'm going to heat it up again. And I've done enough. To, oops. Melt it again. So when it's hard, it is obviously fragile. So I'm just going to put it to the side now. But you can stick those together again, which is not that much of a deal. Here, you see what I'm doing anyway. So, just heating it up to make it um, so you can manage it around. And, um, so this is rock hard again. Heat it up so it softens up again. And then you can put it around those sides. See how it's bending? And it gets hot. It's bending. Bending, 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 bending. Nicely. Down. Okay. 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 Get it around that corner so when you heat it up, you can really manage it down into the into the, the surface you're putting it on. So. 
looks like a nice thing to get here. It's actually to be activated and it's hot. Push it on there. So I'm gonna need another piece. I mean it would be nice if that broken piece would just come on, it's good. It's just about going to fit on there, which is nice. So it was basically I'm needing two of those uh, trims. Again, I had it on my cradle so it's nice and um, I can move it around and um, just put my wood glue on there and then I'm applying it, small piece like that, this way around, it's broken off. So, and then Can show you that you how you can work that thing basically. That's that was, oops, oh, those moldings. You can just cut them off like this. That's it. And they are going to be painted. else can we put there? I'm thinking of I'm gonna put something like this on there. What do you think? I think that's gonna be yes I think that's what I'm going to do. I have one of those already put up and this little piece I'm going to save. It's like one of those chain things. Um, and you probably, I don't know, maybe, probably is going to be missing somewhere, so I'm just going to keep that. So this one I've got on the curl. So. Obviously a thick thing like that, you can't move that much, but even this one is like, um, it's like nice and soft now. So again, wood glue on there. And then, so this thing is just like put on um, keeping the stuff warm. It's pretty hot. It's like, it's not only warm, it's pretty hot. So, but the nice thing about this wood glue is it's reactivated when you heat it up so you can stick it onto your surface. So, this one is gonna go right here. First, ouch, it's hot. Put it on 
nicely and so you can stick those things onto anything those would you bend moldings I just go on anything um, even you can put them even on glass on bottles whatever uh, and you always use wood glue for that okay you've got just heat it up again so you can squash it um, a bit better to the surface as no surface is like um, completely plain and flat that all the backing of this um, moldings is gonna have good contact with um, the background so guys and if you're wondering why my fingers look like that they're really dirty under my nails I had like a delivery of uh, Dixie Bell paints coming yesterday and one jar of the midnight sky which is like one of their darkest colors was broken it was a right mess in the box and um, as those Dixie Bell paints are really highly pigmented it's like you know when you put it under water it's like getting more and more and more so I just didn't get it properly off from my fingers so we have those and um, this is very cute also this is like um, like a tiny sort like a tiny set of industrial um, elements I'm not oops uh, uh, let's throw on those again um, I'm probably not gonna use those they are too tiny for this piece but um, I think they're really cute anyway so they do quite quite a few of those uh, those things I just put it to the side for now those for now um i am using they have a bigger set of those um those parts and i'm using those i think i have something like this up here yeah this is gonna go up there and this is like a set also and this is the number 56 which is like a whole set of um, of different um, of diff different industrial elements and also this one put some wood glue on there stick it where you want it heat it up again and it's then sticking really really well I'm gonna have this one right up here Again. So at the moment I am I'm not in Frankfurt, I am actually in Marburg with my sweetheart. People don't know me. We do have a long distance relationship. And uh, well it's not that long distance, it's about 80 kilometers we are apart. Um, but due to that my shop is in Frankfurt and um, he still has his um, old mom here and um, so he's obviously here in Marburg and now is the time of the year where it's really quiet out at my shop area and I am for a couple of weeks on the whole year open even like Sundays and holidays so Christmas, New Year and the first two, three weeks in January is basically the only time in the year I'm having some time off the shop and I'm at the moment at the basement in Marburg at his house and I'm very grateful because I've got a nice working area here. We just like um, quickly made it up. I moved all my paints over here and stuff and um, I'm shipping from here at the moment also. 
So if you want to buy some paints or something like that, you're very welcome. So they shipped straight away. And as I said, I just received um, a new shipment yesterday, so the shop is fully stocked again. Um, feel free to shop. And feel free to like my page and to distribute this post. I really appreciate that. I'm only a small business, so I highly appreciate that if you help me out. Okay, um, this is going to go up there. Now I'm thinking we're going to do it at the bottom there. I'm starting with this one and this edge here. Warm. Get some good glue on there. See this one? It's also from this set. And you can do loads of things with it. You can also you can use it on pictures or whatever, you know. There's um only you, your imagination is your limit. It's so amazing this product. And even when you break it, you've seen it, you can just like put it back together. There's, um, there's just no problem. So this is gonna go here. Push it on there. And then you heat it up again to make it nice and pliable. No surface is perfectly plain, so you make sure that it really has good can contact with the the underground. This one there, and now I have the smaller pieces. I would love to have this watch somewhere. Oops, up. I'm not sure where I'm going to use that watch. down here now. Can you see what I'm doing? Yeah, that's nicely on there. If you have any questions, just put them down in the comments. I shall come back to them later when I'm finished here. So. Steaming. <laughs> it's it's pretty cold down here, so it's it's down in the basement of um, of his house, and uh, I'm actually quite surprised. I'm in in the in the room basically where the the heat or the like the heating system is. And, um, I've been worried about the. How the um, internet connection is going to be. Well, I think it looks fine, doesn't it? So I'm not hearing any complaints. So heat it up again, and press it nicely down so it gets good contact with the underground. Basically, this this thing also supposed to be thrown. As this lady is gonna go into like an elderly home, and she couldn't take that, so this was about to go into the dump. And um, quite like that. So 
this clock is um, is a single piece. It's a seven, uh, 1421. Number 1421 there is. And it dropped to the floor beforehand, and it was in a solid state. So the top of the the watch broke off. Like this top here broke off, and um, I'm gonna put it back on there now. I'd love to see or to hear where you're watching from. If you like this, you can give me some thumbs up, please. I appreciate that. I'm just saying that that the heating doesn't go on. Um, is it too loud, or is it quite alright? It's gonna go off in a minute uh, again, so I'm sorry about that, but um, it's the best place basically I, I can do my work at the moment. So, so. A tiny piece on there also. Curious things back together. now and the last tiny bit
now I'm meeting those back up. onto the surface and it's really taking the shape of the surface. And as I said, you could bend those things around the corners and stuff like that. I'm not going to do that with this piece. And um, done it up here, you know, you know, up here. So, that's it. Put your bands on. Turn the curl off. And just clean this brush a little off, put that into the water. Obviously this wood glue is also environmentally friendly. It is water based or water suitable. And this is also with the Dixiebel paints, you know, they are all, or most the Dixiebel products, they are water-based, so you can wash them off and you can um, water them down, whatever project you're doing. Let's see, there's a bit of blob of glue in there, though, and I have enough tape for that. That's it. Here also. That's it. That's it. This to the side. Fingers quickly cleaned off. And uh, now already on for an hour again. Sorry guys. But I'm just gonna quickly show you how to throw that paint on and how um how rich this paint is going to be and the base i'm using as i said i am using the um gravel road from dixieville paint uh, which is like a nice dirty gray which is just going to be the base coat and first as always I'm going to use the paint out of the lid because there's always quite a bit of paint in the lid as you can see and always using that. And I'm using my Dixiebel Mini. Uh, it's a synthetic brush from Dixiebel and it's got nice and soft um, brittles and it really holds a lot of paint and I love it because it's got a short handle. And I just love painting with it. It's for me it's so easy to use. And I always like to work with like a bit of a, a damp brush. This is like a Mr. Bottle I always carry in my shop. Uh, also carry in my shop, which is nice to get the, the paint a little moist again um, when it's um, getting dry and you still want to move it around a bit. So So just put some paint on there and then I'm gonna go, you can see the only thing I've done to that piece beforehand is cleaning it up. And, uh, because this paint, this is a chalk mineral paint and it is sticking really really well to almost anything you don't need to put any base coat down or whatever you can see how nice it covers
still some paint in this lid, which I'm going to use. This guy, it was so heavy getting it down the stairs. So, paint out of the loop gone. So, I'm just gonna dab it in there. but obviously it's those smaller parts here I can't go with the wood grain I've got to go against so, did you hear that? that was my shoulder my left shoulder is a bad one can see how easy that this paint goes on. This is just um, putting down the base coat is like a very quick process. So in those wood event moldings you can paint them also. You can stain them with wood stains. Dixie Bell also can either use the um, no paint gel stains or you can get the use the wudo gel stains which are absolutely amazing beautiful products also they do come also in different colors so and the paint I'm using at the moment is one of the 69 chalk mineral paints they are having As I said, they are water-based, they are environmental friendly. So I've got to need a little bit more paint just to go into the details of those moldings. So if you use paper clay or something like that, you've got to let it dry at least overnight to do something like this. So with this things. You know, as time is money, you can just get going, you know, and you can just carry on your project and you don't need to wait. So straight away but you've got to be very very gentle otherwise obviously you're gonna squash it and um, obviously you don't want to do that otherwise it's ruined So, and as I said, this is just like the base coat, this um, grey road, which just fits perfectly to this industrial motor-like inspired seam. You can see the nice coverage of this paint.
nice and that covers. And these brushes are also really good because they really hold the paint. And um, paint moves easier because it dries pretty quick. I don't want it to be too dry at the moment. Paint. Butterfly painted. I love this butterfly. This is industrial look. What do you think? Is that pretty? done by now we've put this woody bent moldings on and uh, what you need for that is basically obviously your woody bent moldings which you can also get in my shop and we've heated them up make them soft and um, manageable. Put some wood glue on them and stuck them on here. So when I'm finished this video is gonna be up so you can basically watch it again and see how this is done. Amazing product, those woody bent moldings. And so are those paints. Look at this coverage, this is so pretty. So, this is just going to be the base coat. And also, those um, Dictable paints. As I said, they are chalk mineral paints and they're self leveling. So the brush strokes basically level themselves out. But on the other side, I don't, you don't want them really too leveled out because that's the character of those paints really. Well, the project you do with it, this chalk mineral paints, it's like a little rustic, vintagey look. Well, that's what I like anyway. That's what my pieces are all back. Back, back. So okay guys, I think you get the idea and you can see how quickly you can get those paints on here and how easy it is to work with. So wherever you're watching from, I hope you left it in the comments. When you watch replay also, please put in the comments where you watched from. I really like be interested in how far this is gonna go. And uh, just let me know if you used either Dixie Bell paints or if you maybe already used Woody Band moldings. And uh, it looks pretty already. I do like that. I don't know about you. Do you like it? Give me a thumbs up or give me some hearts or whatever. So the rest I'm going to finish off without you guys. Oh, 
Leave it like that for now. So, oh. there we go. That's better. So, thank you guys for watching, um, and thank you for your patience. And um, yeah, I hope you like what you see by now. You can see where it's uh, going anyway. And um, as I said, if you watch a replay, um, was? <laughs> Angela, machst ein Müllern auf, Olga. Ja, es könnte passieren. Manfred kriegt schon gerade zu viel, weil hier schon alles voll steht, wie mit deinen ganzen Projekten. <lacht> okay, guys, um, my friends, thanks for popping in and thanks for watching. I really, really appreciate that. Um, for a small business, it's very important uh, for people supporting them. And um, if you want to use some of those products, products as I said I'm, I used uh, those would you bend moldings uh, go to the would you bend page uh, look for your local retailer um, and if you don't have a local retailer I'll be happy to help you out I ship throughout Europe and uh, the same is basically for the Dixie Bell paints they are not cheap but uh, they really go a long way um, already got half the thing done and I've used I've used this jar before um, for a project and it's like um, hardly anything gone out. So um, they really last a long way. They have 69 beautiful colors of those uh, chalk mineral paints. They also have some metallics which are going to come in the next uh, steps basically where we're going. Uh, and um, <laughs> that is my dealer. <laughs> My dealer, my my dealer is uh, just trying to to sell some of my my furniture stuff. That's good. <laughs> that's my sweetheart, Deckel money. That's my sweetheart. So <laughs> actually, he's like um, there's like a program on which is called the the uh, it's like a series. It's called the the Berg Doctor. It's uh, if you translate it, it's like the the Mountain Doctor, and uh, this is. Uh, in in the place in the in the Alps, which is like a beautiful beautiful area, <laughs> and this is the main thing we are we love watching it because it's for motorbiking. It's like one of those most beautiful areas anyway. So he's sitting upstairs watching it and watching me at the same time. So guys, again, thank you for watching. Uh, when you watch replay, leave in the comments where you're watching from. And if you have any questions, uh, put them also in the comments, either in English or in German or in any other lang language. Um, Google is pretty good and I'm sure I can help you out in whatever way. And I would love to do that. As I said, if you want to get some of those products, go either to the Dixie Bell page um, and uh, find your local retailer or go in Europe um, also to the Would You Bend page. In America and USA, uh, Dixie Bell is also carrying the Would You Bend molds, moldings and also the Dixie Bell retailers are carrying them. And over here in Europe, uh, Would You Bend um, is like distributing themselves and there's uh, loads of retailers around also uh, so please uh, go to their page, check for your local retailer. And as I said, if you don't have anyone uh, as a local retailer, I'll be happy to help you out. Guys, thank you so much for watching. If you want to, please distribute this post. Um, I really appreciate that. I need every help I can get. And if you liked it, just leave me a thumbs up on my page also. And uh, I'll let you know when I carry on with this piece. I'm going to put the base coat down now on my own. And thanks for watching again. Bye-bye, guys. Bye.